Climbing to the top of any political party is a slippery affair. And the ineffective plotting of the Blairite warlords of Labour looks like an attempt at a fix. Corbyn's opponents have tried to put every obstacle they can in his way. They said he wouldn't win the leadership, but he did. They said he wouldn't win the Oldham by-election, but he did. They said he wouldn't get through the NEC to get on the ballot, but he did. Corbyn, with his honest and principled politics, isn't just clinging to power, he's secure at the top. to keep those legitimate members who paid three pounds to support Corbyn from voting in this leadership race. Well, it was a move that was decided when Corbyn was out of the room. It's that old parish council dodge, but it won't topple him. 500,000 people supported Jeremy's ascent and they're still cheering him on. The 172 MPs who voted no confidence in him should remember that. Now, I'm not a Labour member, but a party uniting around a man who's fighting the upcoming cuts and sell-offs and the renewal of Trident is a party I can support. The whole shambling coup is a mistake. Jeremy is the one fighting in defence of the needy. And as for that speech by PM May, she's not going to do it. That's just stealing Labour's lines. Labour should be marking out a route to government not blocking Jeremy Corbyn's way, should unite round the leader, and that's the way to get votes from the Tories and UKIP. No no that said, the party may split, inbuilt into its history as a coming together and separating. Think of the SDP. If Corbyn stays, the right may head off into the sunset. But they lost my vote, and many others, over the Iraq war. So let's give Corbyn a boost. Keep him at the top of the Labour Party, where he belongs. 